But yeah, hi, hope you're doing all right. Welcome to another episode of Let's Cry Together. That is the sun that you can see through my window. I do exist during the daylight. It's been a minute, I'm in it, ain't mean a nigga to keep on looking my chicken tomato with that. Anyway, yeah, let's set off to, to high gay seas. I'm ready. I've got a ton of snacks to help me with my depression. Hope you've got your snacks ready. Get ready to watch with me and get ready to watch me try my best to avoid getting copyrighted. This guy. <laughs> Don't welcome him too much. Like, welcome him a decent amount. Oh my. What is this? I'm unhappy. I'm not sure if I have the right episode because why the fuck are they friends? Last I saw, they weren't this close. And again, in the first episode, a lot of time did pass, like months and months during the episode. So maybe there was a closeness that developed here that we just didn't get to see. But I am a little confused. And honestly, I am worried. Like, I'm worried that I skipped an episode without meaning to. Uh, you're both taken. That's what's important, nerd or not. I just want to put that out there. I thought she didn't want to act. I don't know what kind of bias is going through my head. I've known Top for like five minutes, maybe even less than that in the first episode. But for some reason, I am less bothered. I can't believe I'm about to say this. I am less bothered at the thought of De and Top possibly having a thing going on than this. Than Jai. Show of hands. Anyone else feel this way? No? Okay. Aww. You won't respond? What have we learned there from the first season? Apparently nothing. Oh! Oh my god, I'm so sorry I ever doubted you. No, 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 don't be sorry, it's my fault. I shouldn't have judged you. Has Q always been this cute? Why does he look different? Um, okay, after. In your lap? Oh, okay. What the fuck? Be nice. Thank you. What? Did you also get a tattoo? <gasps> <gasps> what? That's adorable! Oh no, don't, don't be that guy that hates it. Don't be that guy that hates it. Oh no. He looks like he doesn't like it because like he changed something that's very permanent about his body. And then now I'm thinking because we saw the poster for this prior to the show coming out and the trailer. And oh, oh, and that had red hair. Like, is that gonna be an issue too? I am. Oh. Yeah, it's so small. What do you mean? He lied. Just like the owner. Am I right? Here there goes again. <laughs> I hate to be the person that's always like calling him out, but think of it as like, I see him as my bestie and I have to just like hold him accountable. And it's honestly, it's a little unfair for Te to be this upset over a tiny change when Oh Eo this entire time has been adjusting to bigger and bigger changes that have been happening to him. And then Oh Eo does this one thing, this one tiny, tiny thing. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, I know. That's such a cute trait. Suddenly fluent in Chinese when he gets drunk. Oh, do it. Please. Can you? Can you? Can you? Can Sure, yeah, this is for him. Yeah, not at all for you. You will benefit 0% from this day. I believe you. Just like I believed you were straight in season 1. For sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, fluff rating, we are currently at 8 out of 10 and I am in heaven. He's so red in the face, dude. 
Roll onto the floor, oh yo, that's the move. You know, the last thing that you would expect from acting class is for people to be pushing you back in the closet. Or, I don't know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry, suddenly what came into my mind after she said that was the fact that this show originally was called the BKPP story. <laughs> Oh, that's so smart. I love you. You're good at that. This role is supposedly perfect for the both of them. What are they? Is it a coffee commercial? Please don't break up. Please don't break up. Please don't break up. If you're not even that into acting anymore, it is not worth going through all of this for. Imagine like dealing with that kind of criticism on the daily because yeah that's essentially what this industry is for something that you don't even feel is worth it something that you're not passionate about something that you just don't want to do like that's double that's a double whammy as we call it get out of there oh my god do you hear the thunder <laughs> i wonder if that's her story because i know that this girl was a writer for season one and then she was cast for this season Bro, I'm scared. I think I should turn off my computer. Um, I am back. It is significantly darker. As you can tell, my face is significantly oilier. Hopefully you can't tell that. You probably can. Especially now that I pointed it out. I didn't take a nap. I just sort of cowered in bed. Because <laughs> lightning and thunder has always scared me. And earlier, it was particularly loud. I don't think I was being way too paranoid. I think that actually was really loud. I haven't reviewed the footage yet. Anyway, all right, we're back to watching. And I'm not going to wear headphones right now just because I'm, again, I'm freaking out. I don't know. I don't want to wear earphones. It makes me feel blocked or whatever. You're going to hear feedback on the microphone. Audio of the show is not going to be that great. Sorry, and thank you for sticking around. Okay, I didn't expect to... What? Okay, okay. Okay, that's good. This is fine. At least he said it early. That is perfect for him, actually. Advertising? Yeah, I see it. Honestly, I think that entire thing about when they were trying to get into college, maybe for a while it did make Oeo happy. But most of the time, he was really just doing that because it was his closest connection to the boy that he was in love with. It wasn't necessarily because he shared that passion. It was more so really just because they bonded over it. it can also be just because you know people change their minds and that's okay people change shit is he, he's gonna blame this all on the friends now yeah okay that you fucking the people need to think about major life choices they can't just like the split second that they realize something yeah that they would just tell you they have to think about it I mean, clearly he's not, but what are you going to do? Not study the thing that you want to because your boyfriend doesn't want you to? That's kind of lame. Oh, back to the tub, are we? Also, that's a really high waist <laughs> for a towel. The more dad you become in your development as a human being, you can measure that by how high you're wrapping your towel around your waist. <laughs> so much time is passing. Am I being petty when I point that out? I'm not sure. I don't know. I feel like we're skipping too much time ahead and I feel like I'm missing out on certain things that might be pivotal to the story or might like add to my attachment to the characters. I don't know. Maybe it's because I gotten used to how they did it in season one and I can't help but compare. Like we didn't really skip through major bouts of time. I feel like we really went through the experience with them. And if there was any lapse in time, it wouldn't last months. Like, it's so... It's strange. It feels... It kind of affects the pacing a little bit now for season two. Now I feel like things are being rushed a little bit. Yeah, so that's where I'm at. I love that. You can see him climbing up in the corporate world. Okay, denim jacket. You look great, by the way. That eyeliner is everything. Oh, hi, Top. It's been a while. So where's Jai's boyfriend? I'm so confused. Like, why? How come he never shows up anymore? Where's James of James and Jai? 
Well, that hit me out of nowhere. Anything is hard work, unfortunately. <laughs> I miss Te. The Te from like the first episode that was so positive about their future that he, but they're going to win an Oscar. They're going to live their lives. They're going to do what they love. And you keep telling yourself that when you do something that you love, you won't ever have to work a day in your life. That type of bullshit. Like, ah. Uh, okay. Oh, he's here. You invited him. That's good. Why are you mad? Get out of there. That's OEO seat. And he, oh, okay. He did stand up. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Same page, same page. Love it. What's this? I'm uncomfortable. I'm unsettled. What's happening? Wait, I don't understand this vibe. I can sense that something's going on just because I'm reading it off of OEO's expression, but I don't understand what it is. I feel like something's going over my head. Wow. Wow. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Shut your stupid mouth. You did? Yeah. Wow, even that? He did that for you. Shitty friend, you don't even know them. Yeah. Oh my god, that's what I said too in the beginning. Is like, what's really exciting about this is that he's gonna meet different kinds of people and maybe they'll help him, you know, explore different options and understand who he is as like an individual as opposed to someone that's like constantly tethered to Te. <laughs> God, they're so stupid. Have we learned absolutely nothing? This is just a repeat of season one. If anything, this is worse. Oh. Ohio. <laughs> the translation. Hey, you are toxic, dude. Be happy for your friends, maybe. I'm also Jesh, like just apart from like making them feel like shit for trying to operate in a capitalist world where there's nothing we can do. Mm. What? Kim, leave him. Yeah. No one needs this kind of toxicity. There's already so much to be worried about. To be fair, I have to pee. Why anyone is still giving him the time of day or any kind of patience because he's being the utmost asshole right now and also like what have you done in those eight months at least kim got a job and then oh it was out here he's flourishing he found his purpose and he's working towards that top is Top is a top, like he's top, he's already a star. Like for someone that likes to be both judge and jury, you have presented zero eligibility. What's this? Someone messaged me, hello? Also, everyone's circumstances are different, okay? We all have like stuff that we need to do. Yeah, some of us need money more than anyone else because we're supporting other people. This isn't even about you, bro. This really isn't. <laughs> Kim, you don't have to listen to this. Walk out. Walk out, Kim. You really don't deserve this. You really don't. And then after this, what's he gonna do? Some half-assed apology? I don't think you're gonna be able to get it. Why are they going to get it? Why are they going to get it? Why are they going to get it? You're not going to be able to get it. You're still alive. Where are you? Che? For fucking Jai. Oh my god, this shot. Wait, what? The moon? And then the gradient of like the yellow and the gray. What's happening? This is gorgeous. Okay. He just stopped talking. Oh, okay. He stopped talking again. Oh, okay. Bro. You were happy just to be trying with him. Right? Yeah. And he hasn't really done 
or said anything to make us believe otherwise. I also like how we're so synergistic, oh ew. Like I never talk over you. The fuck? Unlike some people. A handshake? Are you fucking kidding me? No, that's gay. I like that. Na 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 I guess it's uh, pretty safe to assume that here moving forward, it's just going to be a smooth uh, a sailing. Probably not. It's probably going to get worse. Um, this took me forever to film. Holy shit. If you feel sorry for me at all, I will take the sorry likes and the I feel sorry for you comments and the I feel sorry for you subscription and quite possibly the I feel sorry for you membership. Join now for that extra content, early access to videos, other goodies. I don't know what else I'm going to come up with, but you know what? It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, fun, fun for everyone. It was a crazy episode. I felt so many things all at once. Here's some wise words. If you feel at any point that you are being toxic, like you start thinking that to yourself, it's never out of nowhere. You probably are. You need to take a step back. Okay. And if you are of legal drinking age, quite possibly just like make yourself a mojito. Don't order it at a bar. Don't go anywhere. Like have a little drinky, drinky, winky by yourself in the safety of your own like safe space. That's a sentence. Shut up. Make that cocktail because that's a pretty relaxing um, time to be spending just you know crushing up the lime with the mint and then add the sugar cubes or whatever and then just like drink it slowly savor it and then think to yourself oh my god i was toxic for the past eight months i should probably do something about that so that's a little home project for you and uh, maybe i'll do the same Maybe we could all just use a little time to ourselves and our mojitos.